a very warm welcome dear children uh, today uh, we will talk about the white blood cells which are also known as the leukocytes so uh, in the previous class we talked about the erythrocytes which are the red blood cells and we uh, discussed about the structure of the erythrocyte the function of the erythrocyte and we talked about the hemoglobin and destruction of erythrocytes so now the second type of formed element first is erythrocyte the second type of formed element that we will talk about are the leukocytes so leukocytes in blood or the wbcs now these are the largest blood cells right so leukocytes are the largest blood cells and account for a uh, about 1% of the blood volume so they just make up 1% of the blood volume right there are five types of leukocytes uh, which are present in the circulation of blood now uh, yesterday uh, when we had discussed the composition of blood in the composition of blood we talked about blood made up of two parts one was plasma and the other was formed elements out of the formed elements we talked about the erythrocytes in the previous class we are talking about the leukocytes today and we will talk about the thrombocytes also which are also known as the blood platelets right so coming to the uh, leukocytes the leukocytes are generally divided into two broad categories right they are divided into two broad categories one category is the granulocyte right and the other category is a granulocyte right so granulocyte are those uh, uh, wbcs or the leukocytes Uh, which actually what happens uh, they are divided into into these two types based on their nuclear shape and cytoplasmic granules right so granulocyte they have cytoplasmic granules present in it they are also known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes means the nucleus that is there it is divided into different lobes right there uh, it is not just it is a single nucleus but if you look at it it may look like there are many nuclei right so one single nucleus is divided into uh, lobes so the nuclear shape actually uh, differs right and the a granulocytes are mononuclear only one single type and uh, these a granulocytes they do not have cytoplasmic granules present in them right so these are the two major or the broad categories of the leukocytes they are divided into granulocytes and they are divided into a granulocytes right so uh that's about the major division right then we come to the granulocytes right the granulocytes they are here yeah, these are the granulocytes and they are again categorized into three types i always remember it uh, by writing in the reverse order b e n right now why i have written like this you will just now understand right so n are the neutrophils for n e is eosinophils and b is basophils right so the granulocytes are divided into three types based on the shape of the nucleus and the dye uh, uh, that they absorb right so uh these granulocytes are so named for their prominent cytoplasmic secretory granules right so they have granules all three of them they have granules present in that and uh, they you know uh, take up certain dyes or stains so depending upon what dye or what stain they take up they are further named right so they take up certain dyes and they get stained up 
right so they are accordingly they are named so starting with the eosinophils the middle one these are the eosinophils they take up red acetic dye which is eosin right so from that they are known as eosinophils right then uh, the basophils they take up an alkaline uh, dye with hyaline blue so they are basophils base that is right neutrophils they are purple in color uh, that is uh, the stain when they take up because they take up both the dyes so they appear purple in color so they are neutrophils right then if we look at uh, the types over here if you look at this the neutrophils that is the first one the neutrophils these are the most common and active type of wbcs right they are the most common and active type of wbcs so if you look at uh, uh, what has been explained over here the lifespan if we talk about the lifespan of wbc in man in man means in human it is around 10 to 13 days right and you must have heard of the blood test tlc and dlc right so now what is the difference since you are studying biology so whenever you get a blood test tlc dlc done as advised by the doctor you must know what it is so tlc is the total leukocyte count right which is normally in a healthy person it is 5000 Uh, per millimeter cube and the ratio of the rbc to wbc is 600 is to 1 right rbcs are always more as compared to the wbcs any increase in the tlc count more than 5000 is an indication of some kind of an infection right so uh, 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 if you look at another test that is dlc right dlc is the different differential leukocyte count and it is the number of each kind of leukocytes in 100 wbcs right so that is the differential leukocyte count right so if we look at the values of normal dlc the normal dlc values are neutrophils which are 60 to 70% eosinophils 2 to 4% basophils 0.5 to 1% monocytes 3 to 8% lymphocytes 20 to 25% these two we'll talk about so that is the differential leukocyte count right so uh, this tells about the actual number of the five type percentage of the five types of uh, uh, leukocytes that are present in the blood right so uh, that's about the types of the leukocytes the basic or just a general overview of the types now in the next video we will uh, come across we will study the uh, different types of all the five types of the wbcs in detail